Well, 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 what do we have here? Judge Penny is fuming at Elaine after she backstabbed her and ruined their deal made behind closed doors. If you're wondering what that is, then you'll have to wait until the end of the video to get to the depths of this. I think the biggest screw up is Elaine sending someone who had no authority to negotiate to the meeting. Vagueness is one thing, but when the judge tries to accommodate you and meet with you, you don't send someone with no authority to the meeting. That was such a hard blow for Judge Penny. Do you agree with that? And an Instagram account shared one of the quotes from Judge Askerate, where she rubbishes Elaine yet again. Judge surprisingly said, I'm the chief judge of the court and that's how it goes. She said this to Elaine when she demanded a brief schedule when it did not even exist. Is that why Elaine kept numb when the judge ordered her back to court after she violated their deal? I'm already guessing something might be sketchy with their deal. What do you guys think? I'm sure Elaine Brendanoff's face turned pink with humiliation and shame hearing Judge Penny say that. Well, was that anger of Judge Penny justified? Many would say so, considering how Elaine branded the jury as being unfair and contaminated with social media chatter before deliberations. This is not the end, guys. There's so much more than meets our eye. Judge Penny Askerate was so mad at Elaine Brendanoff that in the final hearing of the Johnny vs. Amber defamation trial, she received a no-nonsense treatment to her. The legal team of both Heard and Depp were summoned to the Virginia Fairfax County Court to discuss the future of the $10.35 million settlement. Can't believe it? Well, what if I told you that we have the evidence to back it up? Yep, you heard it right. Correspondent Ann Jeanette Levy, who was present at the proceedings, said that Judge Penny seems strict towards Elaine. Is it because of her defamatory comments on the jury? Well, we can't blame Judge Penny for that, can we? It was such a low blow for the judge, considering how Elaine backstabbed just right after a day heard lost against Deb. Miss Levy noted, Judge A is always no nonsense. Today, she was even more so and seemed like she was having none of what Elaine was saying. I asked Elaine afterwards whether she would come outside since our camera was out there and whether she had anything to say. She politely said no. She made the admissions during her interview with the Today Show. There, she began by proposing the possibility of tampering and admitted, absolutely. Jurors weren't supposed to be looking at social media, but how can you not be aware? They went home every night. They have families. Their families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of a judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. It was horrible. Would you agree with me when I say both Elaine and Amber Heard are equally insane? Well, it appears so. And it looks like Elaine can't stand losing either, just like Amber Heard. What do you think about this Elaine's hasty move to file a motion? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you guys. The judge at the trial was said to have often called Elaine Brett Hopp for her poor lawyering skills and many other mistakes. But why does Elaine every freaking time give the judge another opportunity to point out? That's still a mystery for us. Elaine filed a motion to redo the trial because no evidence supports the claim. This made the judge call her back to the courtroom for further discussion. Do you think the motion backfired on Elaine? It seems so, considering how the judge called her to court again. Keep watching to know. Surely the judge must be so angry with Elaine that she wants to talk to her again. She stated that she should not file any more motions or schedule new meetings before beginning the appeal process, which she did, by the way. So there's a good chance they've been conversing. Finally, it was said that the judge was sick of all this Amber Heard's team drama. Judge says to Miss Brendanoff, I will comment to you, and maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. But you risk losing credibility with the court when you come before the court and accuse the other side of not following the rules. Yet you repeatedly have tried to add matters to the argument. I am sorry, I have to say it. The internet exploded after hearing Elaine's motion to redo the trial. Most of their comments read, why didn't she file an appeal instead of a motion? Who does she think she is? 
Fans were pissed off and trolled Elaine Brendanoff so severely. One fan wrote, Elaine must be well compensated for her participation in Amber Charade. One more added, I believe Elaine is also pushing this entire thing because she lost her client's case and is still hung up on the UK trial, which we all know had nothing to do with this. One comment appeared that said, Maybe, but I don't want anyone to cast aspirations on Judge Penny because regardless of personal disdain or dislike for either side, I thought she was more than fair to both sides and completely impartial. That being said, I believe the judge was fair and impartial throughout. Anyone who says otherwise is probably on Team Heard's side, looking for reasons to dismiss the case. And it's legal sleight of hand at best, perjury at worst. One user added that, did anyone else notice that Ben Rottenborn isn't on the list of attorneys? He's also sick from Amber. Another wrote, yes, but he was on the trial team and was listed. But he's no longer on Amber's side, and perhaps he's a decent attorney with morals. Does that mean Alain Brendanoff isn't a lawyer with morals? Well, seeing how she violated the deal, that is questionable. All of this proves that Elaine and Judge Penny might have been having convos behind closed doors. Well, that's no surprise, since Elaine's recent comments on jury siding with Johnny Depp might have triggered a reaction from Judge Penny. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. Thanks for watching the entire video. You must be loving the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp gossip if you made it this far. Therefore, I went ahead and already picked out this video for you that I know you'll like.